It's the middle of the Arctic. Your group of four gets split up, with two of them walking off into the white abyss of the flying snow. You turn to shoot a flare in hopes of regrouping. However, something strange catches your eye. A 16th century castle is sticking out of the frozen tundra. How did it get here? Why is there no visible decay? All of these questions float around in your head, and what kind of an explorer would you be if you didn't at least attempt to check it out? Waking up, you and your friend have been split up, one taking on the role of the librarian, and other the explorer. Noticing you still have your walkie-talkies on you, you then go and try to search around your new surroundings. With the explorer finding himself in a small room, he sees a phrase written on the wall, to which the librarian says he's found one too. Putting them together spells out, the answer lies between the eyes. Looking for what this could mean, the explorer finds a wall with odd runes that can be pushed in, in between two eyes on the walls. <laughs> At the same time, the librarian finds a poster on the wall with different combinations of coloured eyes and symbols. Putting two and two together, the librarian asks the explorer what colours the eyes he has are. After being told the colours, the librarian then tells what symbols to press, and... The door opens. This is the core gameplay loop of We Were Here. Whereas most co-op puzzle games have you simply complete the same task together, here the game gives both players individual pieces of the puzzle and forces you to truly work together in order to solve it, creating a truly unique gameplay loop as you work with your friend to figure out these solutions. Stepping outside to a room with yet another puzzle involving a painting and symbols presumably titling it, with the explorer having to describe the painting to the librarian who has access to a room filled with all of the possible paintings the explorer could be seeing, with the symbols needed to complete the puzzle underneath. Communicate the painting properly, communicate what symbols are needed, and you're off to the next room. Which is an important one to talk about as it's the first instance of puzzle having the threat of death involved. The explorer enters the new room, only to find it slowly filling with water. At the bottom of the room is a door labelled with a colour. Now panicked, the explorer communicates this, and after a little bit of exploring, the librarian enters the basement with three coloured valves. He then quickly turns the ones needed to make the colour the explorer told him, and the water drains. This is a key moment in the franchise, as it truly tells the player that this place doesn't want you here, and is trying to kill you, but won't do so without giving you a chance first. You can best this place, but that doesn't mean it will stop trying to turn whatever room you're into into your own tomb. Leaving the room, you're then forced to trap yourself in a maze. With multiple different coloured gates, the explorer must go back and forth using the corresponding levers to open and close these gates until they can reach the exit, being helped by the librarian who has the complete map of the maze and can help plan your movements. While travelling through this maze, you can also catch quick glimpses of what seem to be other people, usually going behind a wall and disappearing immediately after. It's unclear exactly what these sightings are, and while many come to the conclusion that they are spirits or something of a similar kind, I personally have a different theory that I'll explain later on. Coming out the other side of the maze, the explorer then finds himself out in the freezing cold, with a large chessboard in the centre of the small courtyard, and a generator off to the side. Turning on the generator, the librarian then has the ability to play a tape, showing a series of chess moves. With the explorer following along with the moves, he also realises that the cold is slowly killing him, which only puts more stress into the situation as you begin frantically trying to follow the video. Skipping past the puzzle involving trying to cross a spike trap, the explorer then finds himself in a room with several cranks that can be turned, while the librarian enters the last room he has access to, leading to a small theatre. Entering the stage and playing the record player sat in the front of you, you start to hear a narration. There once was a castle filled with light. This moment is cut short, however, as you soon notice a strange puppet-like creature is now watching you at the other end of the room. Wake up. Now sufficiently freaked out, you start to communicate what you heard to the other explorer. Soon finding out each crank controls an object that can be brought onto the stage, you then start to communicate what crank controls what object and start to recreate what the narrator had described. Doing this a few more times, we are given a short story following a king that one day went mad and began a killing spree. And there lived a king with his wife. All were happy, and all was good, until the king killed all who could. Standing in blood, he proudly said, Finishing the final scene, you then both jump down a hatch that opens, being reunited in a hallway with a gate to the outside. 
The only way to open the gate, however, is with a pressure plate sat too far away to be able to reach before the gate closes. Obviously not wanting one of you to be left behind, you then start trying everything. Turning off all the lights, holding the door open, and simply trying your best to sprint it, but nothing works. Eventually, one of you decide to sacrifice, letting the other escape at the cost of being trapped there yourself. The castle has its victim. This is the story you probably already know. The original We Were Here, while still being on a small scale, gained a decent amount of traction comparative to the size of the developers when it first came out. Winning them a couple of awards and doing well enough to justify creating Total Mayhem Studios to continue the franchise, but for some reason, this series has flown heavily under the radar. Which is a real shame, as due to it being the starting point for the team, the original We Were Here is easily the weakest of the franchise, with the games having only gotten better with each installment. However, I really don't see any acknowledgement of of what I consider to be some of the best games of our generation, those being the third and mainly the fourth game. Now, I'm gonna level with you. By far the most deserving of an in-depth look out of all these games is the most recent one, but with me now on the fourth version of this script, I just have to admit that because of the absolute abundance of insane mind-boggling moments in the game, several of which that just left me jaw-dropped, Anything I would say would only serve to spoil it for anyone who picks it up because of this video. This series really is one that's best experienced blind, as when done so, it truly is an experience like no other. So I would just like to say that if any of what I've talked about before sounds even the slightest bit interesting to you, know that this game turns it to 11 if not fucking 13 and I cannot recommend enough that you grab a buddy and do yourself the favor of playing it. I know that this all sounds very salesman-like, but I genuinely love this franchise, and at the current rate, I easily believe that it deserves Game of the Year, and I want to do my part to try and spread the word of it in hopes of achieving that. As much as I want to talk about the rest of this franchise though, for the sake of anyone who is interested by this video, I'm going to end it here. Taking a second to talk about the channel real quick, I am so grateful for the growth you guys have been giving me. Appreciation for an audience is definitely a weird feeling because because you really don't have anyone to direct it to, but just know that if you're watching this video, then I really hope you liked it, and I'm genuinely appreciative of the support you give me. For now though, if you want to come chill, then I have a Discord link below, typical YouTube likes up, blah de blah de blah, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day.